Hello, French graders. Welcome to a new math topic. Uh, this uh, week we'll be working on with topic two, which is subtraction. Um, as you remember, topic one was about understanding addition, how to make six and seven, making eight and nine. You also learn how to uh, do uh, addition sentence, how to join, how to add different addends in different orders, and you get the same sum. We used and we learn different words like sum, total, in all, um, addend, uh, sub addition, in, um, in group or set. Today we'll be learning about subtraction, so topic two. This is the new math words, and there will be more words to learn when it comes to the lessons. But for this one, let's just go through subtract, you can subtract a part from the whole to find the missing part. Subtract one part from a whole to find the missing part. Remember, in addition, you used to have one part and another part, one add-in, another add-in, then you add them together to get your total. In math, you will be having the sum or the total, the seven, you will be having one part, doesn't matter which addend. Let's say you'll be having five, so this is the part you know. And then you need the second part. In addition, we use plus. For subtraction, we'll be using minus, okay? We will learn this um, along when we come to the lessons. So five minus three equals two. So that's called subtract when we use this symbol, which is minus. Difference. The difference is the amount that is left after you subtract. So this is your difference. Four minus one equals three. So when I say three is the difference between four and one, or four take away one equals three. So the difference is three. Subtraction sentence, remember it was an addition sentence, now it's subtraction sentence. A subtraction sentence is a way to show a subtraction problem. Seven minus three equals four. So that's how you put it in your subtraction sentence. Okay. Let's review what we know. Bob picks five carrots. Ella picks three carrots. How many carrots are picked in all? Bob picked five, and then Ella picked three. So in all, five plus three equals eight. So this is an addition sentence. Write the number to match the picture. How many we have here? One, two, three. So three red dots. And how many yellow? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So three and six equals? Nine. This is all what we cover in the first topic. Change the order of the addends to complete the addition sentence. Four plus three. Four plus three. Seven. So if you put them in different order, three plus four, your answer will remain seven. So this is what we cover in topic one, addition. All right. There's more fun activities over here and more games to do over there. And they show you how to play so you can have fun and do this. All right, let's again practice quickly. Subtraction. Difference and subtraction sentence. All right, let's start with our first lesson in topic two. So you should have this paper Finding missing parts of six and seven. Lesson two one, which is topic two, lesson one. All right. What's the new words for this lesson? Missing parts. Finding missing parts of six and seven. Remember, in the first topic, we were doing making six and seven, and we're using addition. Today, we will be finding the missing parts with six and seven. So. Let's say you have six counters in all. 
Okay. So, in all, you have six counters. All right. But how many do you have in your hands? One, two, three, four. But I told you, you have six. So total, you know, six. One part is four. So we're missing the other part. What do you think? If I have, let me draw it here. If I have total six. So total is six. So this is your total. And you only have one part is four. The part I know is four. One, two, three, four. What's the second part? What's the missing part? You will say four. How many do I need to make six to get my total, to get my whole number? I have four. So how many more I need to make six? Let me use different color. This is the part I know, so let me write here. The part I know. And this is my total. So how many I need to make six? I have four, five, six. So the missing part is two. The missing part is two. Here's are my missing part. Two blocks. All right. Let's see how we'll do this together. Six counters in all. So the whole, this is your whole number. So the whole would be six. They give it to me up there. The part I know, it's up to you. Let's say I know two. So I know that I have six, but I only have two. So what's my missing part? Let me draw it here. All right. This is what you have, six. The part you know, Two. And right here, the part I know. So what's the missing part? How many do I need to reach six? How many counts or counters do I need to make six? All right, let's say you're gonna Say four, I need, I have two. And I total, I know I have six. So I have two, three, four, five, six. How many counters? One, two, three, four. So I need four to have my six. One, two, three, four. To have my six, the number I have up there. Okay. So over here, I know I have six. I can draw a little drawing on a side like that. It will help me. Total is six. The part I know is two. So how many I need to make six to reach my six? After the two I have, I count three, four, five, Six. Now count how many counters did you put? How many dots or box did you draw? Four. Very good. So six is my whole number. The part I know is two. And then the missing part is four. Okay. Now, six counters. The part you know, first the whole. Six, the part you know, five, the missing one, 
same thing. Can draw a small box on the side. I know that my total, six in all. The part I know, five, one, two, three, four, five. So how many missing to make six? Count after five, six. So how many? One. So my missing part is one. Total you have seven counters. Remember, we're making six and seven. So now number three is your total is seven. The whole number in all is seven. So I'm going to write here seven. All right, the part I know, let's say you, you're just guessing. So you can write any numbers if you don't like this example. But I'm saying the part I know, I will say five. I'm going to draw my box up there on the side. Because Total number seven, I know five, so one, two, three, four, five. So what's missing? How many do I need to make seven? After five, six, seven. So you're counting after five to reach your total number. How many did I put? How many I drew? Two. So the missing number or the missing part is two. So seven counters, again, your total. I'm gonna put seven. The part I know, let's say I know six. So the missing, I'm gonna draw my box. Total, seven. The whole, in all, seven. The part I know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many do I need to count to reach seven? After six, seven. So how many did I count? Only one. So the missing number or the missing part is one. Okay. I want to put it this way. This is the six, right? This is my whole number. This is the whole number, six. I have six counters. Okay. I'm going to hide some. So you're going to say, I know two out of the six. Let me do the six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is my six. Okay. The part I know, two. What do you think the missing part? The part I know, two. What's the missing part? So the missing part is two. The, the part I know is two. So the missing part is after two, three, four, five, six. So how many do, do I need to add to make six when I have two, four? Let me see, I have four. Yes, so if I join, four and two should give me the six. All right, don't worry, it's new because first time to do subtraction for this uh, year, but don't worry, we will learn more later on. So let's go back to our sheet and let's go for the second page. Let's read our example. There are six bones in all. So that's your number, six in all. How many bones are inside the ball? You see the question mark? Like You don't know what, how many inside the ball. But since there are six bones in all, the whole is six. So we know that the whole is six. All right. What part do you know? 
the part you know, I see four bones outside the ball. So there are four bones outside the balls. They can see four and they know their total number is six. In all, is six bones. You see four, but we don't know what's inside. So what's the missing part? That's the missing part in the ball. So no, this is, we're thinking now. The part I know, four. Total, in all, six. So there must be two bones in the ball. The missing part is two. So the other bones show the missing part. These are the missing parts. The dog did not see them, but six. And I know four, so they know that two more to make six. All right. Guided practice. Find the missing part. Write the numbers. Total, six. So six bones in all. In all is your six bones. The part I know, like here, the part we're outside, the part I know, one, two, three, four, five, five. So the missing part, the part that I can see will be one. How do you know? Because I know five. How many counts do you count to reach six? Five, six. I counted one time, so it's one. All right, let's do number two. In all, seven bones. The part I know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the part I know, six bones. What's the missing part? The part that you can see, the part that you're looking for. All right, in all, seven. I know six. So how many times I will count to reach seven? Let's say six, after six, seven. So how many count? One. So the missing part is one. All right, number three, six bones in all. So this is my whole number, six in all. The part I know, part I know, let's count. One, two, three, four. So the part I know is four. The missing part, the hidden part, the part that I cannot see. What are we gonna do? You're gonna count after the part you know. After the part I have. After the part that I can see. So I have four. So let's count. After four, five, six. How many counts did I say? Two times, five, six. So the missing part is two. I counted two times to reach six. All right, seven bones in all. Remember, in this activity, we're only dealing with work and working with six and seven. So bone, seven bones in all. The part I know, the part you have the picture. So this is the part you know. Let's count. One, two, three. So the part I know is three. The missing part, the part I'm looking for. So let's see how many times we're gonna count from three to reach seven, to reach the whole number I have. So after three, I'm gonna count four, five, six, seven. So how many? How many counts did I count to reach seven? One, two, three, four. So how many bones? Four missing bones. Okay. Okay, let's do you to understand. Do you understand? You have seven counters. You know that three of them are red. How could you find how many are not red? Same, in all is seven. So, in all is seven. You have, you know that uh, three of them are red. So seven counters, three reds. So these are the parts you know. 
So in all, seven. The part I know is three. So how many counts I'm gonna count to reach seven? Let's draw them. So three, four, five, six, seven. So how many counters? One, two, three, four. So missing four. Total, I know seven. The part I have three. The missing part is four. All right. Okay. Independent practice. I'll do the first one with you to have more practice and help you to uh, find uh, the answer for the rest of your questions. Six bones in all. So six bones in all. Part I know. The part you see the picture, this is the part you know. So count and put your number here. One, two, three. The part that's missing, the part that I'm looking for. So I have in all six, I know three. So I'm counting four, five, six. How many times did I count? How many counts? One, two, three. So the missing part is three. Number six, six bones in all. The part you know, the part that you have. You count and you put your number. And then after that, find the missing number, the missing part. After two, use your pencil and draw just a stick like that. Three, four, five, six. Count how many did you draw? How many counts did you count to reach the in all number six? Number seven, seven bones in all. This is the part you know. Count how many bones did you know? Put it here and then find the missing number. Number eight, seven bones in all, you know. One, two, three, four. Count them, put them here, and then find your missing number. Okay, algebra. Complete the number sentence. Five plus give you six. Five plus what give you six? How many times are you gonna count to reach six? So five, six. I counted one time only. So five plus one equals six. All right, number 10. Five plus missing part equals seven. Five, how many times are we gonna count? How many times you need more to make seven? So. Five, I will count six, seven. How many counts? Two. So five plus two equals seven. All right, turn the page. Page 44, question 11. Seven pens are red or blue. So you have seven pens with two colors, red and blue, like the counters. Let me see. Let me get the same color, red and blue. Make it easier. Okay. I have seven counters. Um some are red, some are blue. You don't see them. You don't know, you don't know how many of each. But you know that five pens are red. So five is red. So how many is blue now? How many pens are blue? I know total seven. I have five. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna put my total number here, seven. And then I'm gonna split here. I have one, two, three, four, five red. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five. So five red. So do you think how many are blue? After five, 
How many counts do I need to count to reach seven? Six, seven. So how many did I draw? Two. So five and two equals seven or seven. I know the part I know is five, the missing part is two. And that the two blue, I have them. Now I have my seven pens. I knew this five, right? And that was a missing part. Okay. Six eggs are in the carton. Emma cooks two eggs. How many eggs are left in the carton? So total, your total number, six. In all, is six. Two cooked. So how many still in the carton? Do the same. You can do a small box. You can go like this. Total six. I cooked two. So here this cook two. So how many I need to make six? You see, three, four, five, six. So how many did I put? One, two, three, four. Do you see number four? You circle. Write a number story about a toy box and six toys. Draw counters to show the number story. So that you're gonna choose the numbers you like. So you have total in all six. So you're gonna write six, that's the total number like here, all right? And then you can say that uh, you're using counters. So you can say that two are red or two toys are big. So how many will be small? Or how many is, are blue? So whatever you like. This is the number you have. If you have to have, this is the whole number. And then you're gonna choose the number that you know, and then you're gonna find that missing part. All right. So that's it for today. We learned something new today. We're talking about subtraction. We learn how to find the missing part of six and seven, and the word bank was missing part. We did some activities in practice, and you will learn more and you get more comfort the more you make more practice and uh, activities. So I'll leave you the rest of the work to do, and that's it for today. Thank you.